They say Docker was built to simplify deployment, to isolate code, to keep environments clean, but hackers, hackers saw a vault, a container within a container, not to protect the system, but to hide from it. While developers shipped clean code to production, hackers were slipping shells into builds, running backdoors inside memory-safe sandboxes, deploying silent exploits wrapped in Docker files no one read. You thought they were gone, but they just moved inside your infrastructure. Developers, they always build tools to make life easier. Virtualization, containers, orchestration. But every system that simplifies also creates blind spots. And where there are blind spots, hackers thrive. Docker wasn't meant for hackers. It was built for developers, for deployment pipelines, for clean CI or CD. But to a hacker, Docker is a black box. They can weaponize, a ghost shell where they can live in, build in, and vanish in. While sysadmins sleep on their dashboards, they were spinning shells inside containers with names like Node App Test, deploying persistence in clean layers, backdooring public images, and watching downloads roll in like trophies. You don't need to break into the system when the system pulls you in. Every hacker needs a sandbox. But setting up VMs, it's heavy, suspicious, and tracked. Dockers, it's instant, light, and isolated. They can spin up a full Kali box with one command like it drops them straight into a hacking environment where Metasploit, Nmap, Hydra, Burp, custom payloads, all preloaded, locked, and lethal. No installs, no configs, just pure firepower. Need to test an exploit? Launch it inside. Need to scan a network? Use the container's clean IP. And when the job's done, just nuke it, you are gone. No logs, no footprints, just smoke. Now imagine this, you're a blue team analyst, staring at CPU spikes, wondering why Docker is burning resources. Meanwhile, there's a container you didn't deploy, spinning up a crypto miner, beaconing out to a C2 server on port 8080, hidden in plain sight under the name Nginx Test 01. That's the hacker's game, use their tools, blend into their systems, mount volumes, hide binaries, spoof legitimate images, and the best part, most teams don't monitor what goes on inside containers. They watch the host, but never peek into the isolation. They are operating like a ghost inside a glass box, visible to no one, yet controlling everything. Real pros? They plant backdoors inside Docker images and upload them straight to Docker Hub. Public? Free. And waiting for some sleepy sysadmin to Docker pull their own downfall. Inside large infrastructures, Docker is everywhere. Containers named API Server, Test, DB, and an X temp. Slip in with a name like that and they are invisible. Run a C2 listener, bind to a random port, and wait. To the untrained eye, you're just another microservice. But under the surface, your payload is watching, waiting, exfiltrating. And if the host mounts the Docker socket, game over. You control the demon, create new containers, escape isolation, pivot into the system like a ghost moving through walls. Hackers don't need to break security. They inherit it through misconfigurations, through blind trust and automation. They built Docker to isolate risk. But hackers, they built empires inside it. Invisible networks, hidden labs, tack chains that disappear when the container dies. This isn't just hacking, it's camouflage, it's patience. It's the art of being seen, but unnoticed. Every container is a fortress or a coffin. Depends on who's inside, so check your images. Watch your containers. Read every line of that Docker file like your system's life depends on it. Because one day, it will. You see, in this digital world, trust is the real vulnerability. The moment you pull that container, you're trusting every layer, every command, every hidden line. But hackers don't chase chaos. They hide in it. They don't knock on doors. They disguise themselves as the house. And Docker? It didn't fail. It did exactly what it was built for. Cut you off, seal the door, and isolate. Hackers just found a way to isolate ourselves from security, to operate in silence, to build shadows in your infrastructure. So stay curious, stay paranoid, and before you Docker pull anything again, ask yourself, who built it? And what did they leave inside? Like, share, subscribe, drop your thoughts in the comments. And remember, hackers don't break in. They get invited. Stay sharp, stay legal, stay hacking. See you in the next one.